Kylie Jenner recently opened up about her struggles with postpartum. This is after a very long and stressful pregnancy, especially after her baby daddy's Astro World concert caused the death of 10 people. In today's respell, we're going to be covering Trisha Paytas responding to haters during her pregnancy journey, Khloe Kardashian getting called out for being a hypocrite, and Kylie Jenner opening up to her fans and letting them know her struggles with postpartum. So as we all know, Kylie Jenner was very public about her second pregnancy, and it was actually a very stressful time for her, mainly because in her third trimester, she was having to support her baby daddy, Travis Scott, who was going through it after his concert caused the death of 10 people. And to make matters worse, Kylie and Stormy had attended that very concert and Kylie was being called out as well at the time because she was filming everything when people were literally dying in the distance. So yeah, both her and Travis went dead silent on social media after the Astro World tragedy happened. So Kylie finally announced the birth of her son Wolf six weeks ago and hasn't really been on social media that much since. Well, it turns out Kylie recently took to her Instagram story to reveal to fans that just because things like look all good on social media doesn't mean that's the case in real life. I just want to say to my postpartum moms that postpartum has not been easy. It's not been easy. It's very hard. It's, this experience for me personally has been a little harder than with my daughter. It's not easy mentally, physically, spiritually. It's just crazy and yeah. I didn't want to just get back to life without saying that because I think we can look on the internet and, you know, for other moms going through it right now, um, we can go on the internet and it might look a lot easier for other people and like put the pressure on us, but it hasn't been easy for me either. It's been hard and I just wanted to say that. So I didn't even think I'd make it to this workout today, but I'm here and I'm feeling better. So, you got this. And it's okay not to be okay. Once I realized that, I was putting some pressure on myself and I just keep reminding myself I made a whole human, beautiful, healthy boy, and we have to stop putting pressure on ourselves to be back, not even physically, just mentally, um, after, after birth, so yeah. Just sending some love. I love you guys. And yeah. Fans had praised Kylie for being open and honest about her struggles. So Kylie's sister Chloe is a very problematic, as we all know. A couple years ago, Kylie's bestie had got in with Chloe's baby daddy, and all hell broke loose. Chloe was publicly shaming Jordan and not really holding her own baby daddy accountable. She tweeted at the time, "Why are you lying, Jordan Woods? If you're going to try and save yourself by going public instead of calling me privately to apologize first, at least be honest about your story. By the way, you." are the reason my family broke up. And also, at this point in time, Chloe's sisters were all bullying Jordan. And Jordan was the most hated person on social media at that point. She'd lost everything, all brand deals. And her bestie Kylie didn't want to have anything to do with her anymore. And Kylie took away the flash cars that she'd bought her. It was very, very messy. Over the years, Jordan slowly got her career back, and people have realised that what Chloe did was disgusting, and lo and behold, Tristan, Chloe's baby daddy, is still a cheat, and he even got another woman pregnant. Chloe has always faced backlash in the media for how fake she looks, and most recently, since her baby daddy had another baby with someone while they were still together, this has caused her to lose a lot of weight in a very short period of time. Chloe recently had a very hypocritical interview with Variety magazine, and she was getting called out for saying that blaming women when the men cheat is really hurtful, which is the complete opposite to how she reacted when it was revealed that Jordan had hooked up with Tristan. Basically, in the interview, Chloe had been asked, what has been the most hurtful thing said about you? She'd responded, if your significant other is doing something wrong, for the women to be blamed, that's always really hurtful to me. I've never quite understood that, instead of there being some sympathy or like, wow, that must really suck to have to go through that, and not only go through it, but then go through it so publicly. I don't even care if people 
have sympathy. I just don't understand why there's so much finger pointing. Like it must be me. That's a heavy thing to carry. Fans were very quick to point out the hypocrisy of this on Twitter. So in this article, Chloe Kardashian says, if your significant other is doing something wrong, for the woman to be blamed, that's always been really hurtful for me. I've never quite understood that. Ma'am, did you not drag Jordan Woods? The hypocrisy. When Jordan was 21, Chloe, who was 34 at the time, bullied Jordan, fat shamed Jordan, because her 27 year old boyfriend kissed Jordan. And she's saying this now? Did Chloe and her sisters not blame Jordan Woods for something Chloe's significant other did? The hypocrisy. Yikes. It's pretty clear that Chloe has now realised that Tristan was and is at fault. It turns out that in the Kardashians' new Hulu series, they dive into the paternity of Tristan's new baby. Tristan himself had actually apologised to Chloe publicly after the birth of his new child was announced, and his public apology probably humiliated Chloe even more. Today, paternity test results reveal that I fathered a child with Marley Nichols. I take full responsibility for my actions. Now that paternity has been established, I look forward to amicably raising our son. I sincerely apologise to everyone I've hurt or disappointed throughout this ordeal, both publicly and privately. Chloe, you don't deserve this. You don't deserve the heartache and humiliation I've caused you. You don't deserve the way I've treated you over the years. My actions certainly have not lined up with the way I view you. I have the utmost respect and love for you, regardless of what you may think. Again, I am so incredibly sorry. So lastly, in today's respill, we need to talk about Trisha constantly responding to haters while being pregnant. She's also been responding to other people's drama recently and giving her two cents. This is something that she promised she'd never do, as she promised everyone that she'd turned a new leaf now that she's pregnant, but that's not the case at all, and she's back to her old ways. Not only that, but she's now going off at people who come for what she chooses to eat. A lot of people on the internet have been giving her medical advice which thank God she hasn't been taking, but she is getting super bothered by it. However, fans are still concerned that Trisha is having a high-risk pregnancy and are calling her out for what she's eating, etc. Well, this has bothered her so much that she's responded. Is, like, so mind-numbingly stupid. Like, I had a post on my Twitter, like, the, like, voicemail, like, I had a voicemail left from my doctor's office it's like your blood work came back and everything looks great like it had like the translation so like i posted that because i was like even vlogged my last doctor's visit where my blood pressure was under like it was great it was normal and we've obviously done the genetic testing for myself the baby all that stuff yet people still insist that i am a high risk i'm bedridden i'm all this stuff because I've had trouble conceiving in the past because I'm overweight. Like some people really need lives. Some people, and sometimes I go to the profile and it's like, I was like an actual 13 year old. I'm like, oh, oh why? And sometimes I go to the profile and it's someone who like doesn't even have kids. I don't know. I'm like, it just bothers me, you know? Like I go to a doctor and everyone's like, oh, you go to the doctor all the time. I go to the doctor once a month. I think I just started posting doctor's appointments, so maybe it seems like it's closer together. But I got a doctor once a month. But I'm pretty sure my doctor tells me what I can and cannot eat. Does my sugar levels. There's so much like stigma with being overweight and pregnant. And I get it. There are some health concerns that do happen sometimes, but not all the time. Don't put that ish on me, you know? And it's just people oh. People are concerned about her diet because of the effect it could have on her baby. But she's gone off multiple times about this and how her doctor believes everything's fine and apparently she's had blood work done too. People are trying to encourage Trisha to stay quiet about her journey, especially after she gives birth, because otherwise she's not going to handle all that hate that's likely to come her way. So what are your thoughts on all this drama? Let me know in the comments.